guys. So this is the uh, the post market recap, um, and this actually did okay. So S double M T uh, was up on some pretty decent move this morning, uh, decent move news this morning. <coughs> pardon me. And you can see that uh, there was this liquidity issue uh, up through here. That liquidity was generated, and then price action came back down into the range, started to push over into those highs into the cash market you can actually see what happened here is that price action put in this double top uh, right through here uh, we had some liquidity that was generated again price action pushed down lower um, and then what we're looking at is we're looking at some of these pushes off of the uh, ema so this is really important stuff um, constantly want to be looking for bounces off of the ema right so you can see that we've got it uh, through here a number of times and uh, these bounces are going to look like, I don't have a circle here, but you can see the price action jumps up and then boom, comes right down off of this um, EMA. And you can see that right through here is a really, really high reward to risk trade where you'd be getting in around 112 and putting your stop at about 107. That's, that's in the pre-market trading. Uh, we get the same thing through here uh, where it punches through some of these levels and there's clearly a stop down through here. Um, that you could put in sort of the 121 to 118 range uh, and then there's another very very <coughs> simple uh, area to get long right through here uh, and you can see that this thing punches right through here uh, you could have stopped down through here so you're uh, you're looking at an entry of about 138 uh, with a low of 130 and then you can see what happened here is that once all of the traders and the orders have been filled price action absolutely skyrockets and we move into the 235 level uh, starting with a run at about that 144 through 152 level. This ended up the day 212%. This is something that we put out in chat this morning. And uh, I put that out pre-market and I was giving, um, giving some people some insight as to what the levels might be on this uh, particular uh, trade. So again, you know, you wanna be looking at this from the perspective of looking at uh, little pullbacks and bounces off of the EMA, you can see some tops through here uh, and some areas right through here where you can get long uh, off of these bounces. You can see the pullback, there's a bounce, you can see there's a flat top, but there's a hold and an ascending triangle off of that EMA. There's a pullback and then a reversal and so on and so on. So there were multiple opportunities uh, to get long this stock. The other stock that we talked about was GOSS. They failed uh, some of their trials. And you can see that this thing gapped down, uh, put in this low, and then it just started to sell um, into that sort of 277 and lower level. Uh, double bottomed here around 218. Nonetheless, this did put in a short trade. It was optionable, was shortable. That's also something that we talked about pre-market. So for today, the two movers was SMMT and on the short side, GOS. S, and that was, uh, those are two stocks that we talked about based on news. Earlier this morning, again, all of this was talked about step by step with these key levels in chat this morning. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Julian at jlustrade.com. If you want to learn more about chat, there is going to be a link uh, in this description box below.